Khalifa University was established in 2017 as part of the government initiatives to transform the economy from a petroleum-based economy to a knowledge-based economy. Khalifa University today participates into developing human capital that is needed for the changes to the knowledge economy and to provide the research needed to support the industry in that change. Khalifa University today have three colleges, the College of Engineering, the College of Science and the College of Medicine and Health Sciences, as well as a number of institutes such as the Masdar Institute for Sustainability, the Petroleum Institute, and the latest institute, the AI Institute. We are proud of our ranking today. In a very short period of time, Khalifa have reached 28 in Asia, and we are the first in the UAE and the second in the Arab world. We aspire to be among the top universities in the world, and we also aspire to support the knowledge economy and the change needed for the UAE. As at Khalifa University, we have a thriving robotics ecosystem. Uh, we have about uh, 50 researchers working in various robotic projects, including about 20 multidisciplinary faculty that come from all various departments in the university. We uh, focus on three main application areas, on uh, robotics for extreme environments, robotics for infrastructure inspection, and robotics for industrial applications. We have quite a number of projects uh, related to robotics happening within the centre. Robotic platforms of firefighting in high-rise buildings. So this is a project sponsored by EMA, who's a real estate developer here in the UAE. Most of these fires, they start small. So if you have these drones on site, they can tackle them before they become big. We also have projects on uh, industrial automation with a company here called the Strata in Al Ain who develop components for the aerospace industry. So, so this, we deal with uh, automating the manufacture of aerostructures. So the, here the challenge is getting high precision in large structures. I am the senior director of the Institute of Artificial Intelligence and Intelligence Systems. So this institute basically is one of the three large uh, units that uh, uh, compose uh, the research effort of the university. Uh, it includes a number of research centers within it and we try to address all the aspects of embodied artificial intelligence, operational artificial intelligence, trying to bring the AI in the texture of the society and of the economy. So this is the mission of the Institute. Each center so within the Institute, each center has a, its own mission and its own, of course, specialties. And uh, I am also the director of one of those centers, which is called the Center for Cyber Physical Systems. In this center, basically what we do is to put together all the chain of value going from uh, the periphery of sensors that will collect data about the processes, of pe what people are doing, the environment, uh, the communication of this data uh, to peripheral nodes or to the center for processing, the analysis, the analytics, AI, and the results of this, of this uh, uh, analytics uh, to be provided to human decision makers or for automatic decision making. For example, one uh, project that we are doing in association with the KAIST University in Korea, which is one of the partners of our institute, is to try to detect uh, the fitness for work of humans by uh, analyzing runtime their brain waves. Uh, so analyzing brain waves to each e ECG or EEG uh, is uh, something that is done normally for diagnostic purposes by medical doctors. But we are doing it for different reasons. We want to understand whether you are under stress, whether you are capable of handling a complex task. So if we wanted to intercept potential problems before they happen, we wanted to be able to analyze the brain waves. But we must do that in a non-invasive, privacy-preserving way. Embodiment is the key to robotics. So, so with, uh, with AI, you can have AI programs that are computer programs. Now, if you put the intelligence into a body, then it becomes a robot. And these robots will have AI embedded in them for perception, for moving around, for navigation, for manipulation, for doing difficult tasks. For here at KU, what is the way to 
develop new paradigms for AI, but at the same time prove every day that they are useful to the country. This is the specific challenge for AI at KU. We don't do AI, period. We need to do AI as part of the texture of the society. So develop something new and prove it, it helps. This is uh, the big challenge we face every day. The future for robotics in the UAE is very promising and we, being educational and research and development uh, institution, will be very much a part of this ecosystem. I'm, I'm very uh, excited by the opportunities that will arise here in the future in the area of robotics.